Hello everybody, this is the Retro Bear back once again in the gaming pantry uh, for another video in the Wii collection and we are doing something which we should be very very sensible about today so I would say mind how you go because we're doing P's and Q's. Whew, that's about the most tenable link you'll ever see to an introduction to a video. Uh, thank you very much indeed for tuning in. If you are here for the very first time, thank you very much indeed uh, for stumbling across these videos and hope you enjoy those. For those of you back once again, yep, P and Q, we're getting close now. I'm sort of looking through the rest of it, uh, what I've got left to do, and I'm certainly thinking maybe one, two, maybe another four or five videos which will include sort of the appendix at the end of it and then we'll be done. And then it will be safe for everybody to come back <laughs> and come back to the channel. Um, yes, they've all gone away since we've been doing these wee videos. But uh, no, they'll be back again soon and then hopefully um, we'll move on to something else. But we've got plenty to get through. About 30 odd today, so be reasonably short entry. Um, if you haven't seen the rest of these videos, and I think there are nine previously, this is part number 10, I think, from memory. Go back and have a look. Lots of games. Some games you may have heard of. Some games you may have got, some games you never heard of, some games you never knew existed, some games you think look so bad they must be worth tracking down. We would hope so. That's the whole purpose of this. And so many people, as I always say in these videos, so many people have already said to me, oh, I saw that game on there, I really like the look of it, I'm going to go out and buy it and I've bought it, or I didn't know that game existed, I'm going to go and get it now. And it's just fantastic. It just really is fantastic to hear so many people say so many nice things about these videos. So um, hopefully this will inspire you to uh, go and maybe start a wee collection you haven't done so already. Why would you want to do that? I hear you cry. It's dead easy. It's dead easy. Right, shall we get going then? Just a quick, quick mention. We don't usually say what we're drinking today, but we have some Bavaria Shandy in the house. Yeah, all the hard stuff in here. Yeah. The whole point nine percent mm. I don't drink very much at all, hardly ever. I didn't make an exception on New Year's Eve this year. I never drink this year, but um, that's the uh, first time in a very long time. And then that there... Yeah, I don't mind the old Judge Shandy. It's quite nice. That's not too bad, that one. Anyway, I'm not here to promote Shandy at all. I'm here to promote Wii games. That's what I do. So let's start off, shall we? And uh, let's have a, a bit of golf. It's Pangia Golf with Style. Now, I'm sure somebody mentioned this in one of the comments on my last video saying we're getting to P, aren't we? You must have some Pangia. Yes, I do have. Uh, I'll get, get this confused with another game, which we'll probably see a bit later on um, in, in a f further episode. Uh, complete with Manual. And also, it's quite heavy, that one. So, it's also got the manual, and it's also got... Um, what's that there? Oh, uh, Club Nintendo points, which haven't been used. There's also a safety manual. We've got the whole lot here today. The Wii user's manual as well. So, there's a complete plethora of stuff with this, which weighs way an absolute ton. And, uh, yeah, it, it, if you've played Wii Sports Golf, uh, or the, the Tiger Woods games on the Wii, this is exactly the same sort of thing. And you pretend you're playing golf. And it's really good. Um, these sort of games will get very carried away with because I then sort of end up being far too serious. Like any any sort of game involving motion control, I end up being way, way, way too seriously. And um, I sort of end up um, doing myself an injury. So, but yeah, it's it's great. I mean, you can see the young lady on there back has kicked herself out in proper golf attire. He's having a go at it. So there we go. But it's got the it's got the old anime twist to it as well it's also got one of those really annoying game stickers stuck on the back of it as well how did that end up in there and not be peeled off i have no idea oh dear me but uh yeah anyway there we go so uh pangia golf with style that's your first one what's next now three games in this series and they're all readily easily available and all incredibly disappointing at uh, pdc world championship darts 2008 I never thought that a game like this, which I th you, which you think would work really, really well on the Wii, is just you sort of standing, you know, sitting there with the Wii remote and going like that. Uh, it's, it couldn't have been anything else, could it, really? Because, you know, darts, you go like that. It, it's not much difference. But, um, yeah, I, I mean, it's fantastic. It's got, you know, got the license. It's got the great Sid Waddell on commentary. Uh, the guy used to do the... Um, uh, the score reading out Russ somebody I think his name was I can't remember quite a gravelly uh, oh no sorry uh, top level match referee Bruce Spendley sorry I've not got him mixed up with somebody else um, but yeah we've got all uh, major PDC pros at the time this was 2008 so you've got Phil Taylor Ray Van Barneveld Peter Manley Wayne Maud Adrian Lewis Dennis Priestley Alan Warren a little 
John Park, Colin Lloyd, Mark Dudbridge, Roland Shulton, uh, Ronnie Baxter, Andy Jenkins, Kevin Painter, Andy Hamilton, and Terry Jenkin Jenkins. So all great names from darts in there. But yeah, it's just so disappointing to play. There's, there's nothing really to it. Uh, it didn't really get any better with the next one either, which is the official game for 2009. Which is a, it's a real shame. You know, they, they, just not quite as enjoyable as they should have been. Um, you can see, not much what's going on the back of that one either. This is pure darts. Um, yeah, so you've got Walkins on this one. You've got the World Championship, your PDC Pros on this one. Uh, James Wade uh, is looks like he's the only one who's actually got. Oh, eight Wayne, uh, sorry, James Wade and Alan Tabern are the two additions. Two new names on the back of that. Two people have been taken out a bit by the looks of it. Wonder why. Um, yeah, oh, that's it. Yeah, Russ Bray was the referee I was trying to think of. The guy who reads the scores at. He's actually on this one with Bruce Spendley and Sid Woodell. So that was it. And there was a third game in the series. And uh, yeah, I must admit, I haven't played this one yet. And this is the PDC World Championship Darts Pro Tour, so I'm hoping this might be actually a bit of an improvement. Um, and you've got uh, Simon Whitlock, you've got uh, Phil Taylor, Ray Van Barneville, James Wade and Gary Anderson on that one as well. So if you know your darts, which is going on at the moment with the old World Championship at the Alexandra Palace, then you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about. In fact, probably by the time this goes out, it'll finish. It'll be finished. Um, and we would have been looking forward to the BDO World Darts Championship, but that doesn't exist anymore. Okay, so um, what have we got here? Be part of the passion and excitement of the darts tournament. Your living room PDC World Championship. You've got six PDC players added to the lineup, plus a top ten from the PDC Order of Merit. It doesn't tell you who's in this one. Um, Sports Wii Motion Plus, all new player view. Uh, Sid Waddell's joined on commentary by John Gwynn. And uh, real live televised tournaments from the calendar, including the Grand Slam of Darts, European Championship, and the World's Darts Championship. Ooh, I might give that one a go, actually. I do like the old darts. I used to love a bit of the old darts. I have a dart board mounted in my living room. I do. I do. Honestly, I do. I do. I'm putting up their aid when I was really into it. I even had, I even had one of them, them dart shirts with my name on the back of it as well. It wasn't that good. It's still my wardrobe, but I'll never fit, I'll not fit into it nowadays. I've, I've, a lot of food has been consumed since uh, I purchased, uh, or since uh, Mrs. Bear bought me that uh, shirt. I will say that. But um, yeah, if I ever get slimmed down, I might wear it one of these days. What's up next? Quickly moving on swiftly. Um, Penguins of Madagascar. There we go. Uh, from the successful um, Madagascar series of films. It's the Penguins of Madagascar. They're always on telly at Christmas. They were this year anyway. Uh, Skipper Kowalski, Rico and the Private to defeat Dr Octavius Bruyne's plan for world domination. I'm guessing that's based on the cartoon follow-up series that was done. I don't know. I don't know much about it, and um, yeah, must be. It's not one I've played. Now this one, you're automatically going to turn off probably. If you see this game out and about, whether you want it or not, pick it up because you know if you're one of these people who buys for trade, this is worth picking up. Uh, I paid a quid for this, and it regularly sort of gets between sort of four to five. It really gets you sort of like three to five quid for a trade in. So it, it's but both games, two games in this. We've only got one of them. <clears throat> um, and it's Peppa Pig, fun and games. So, yeah, they, they, these always hold their value. If you see one knocking about for 50p or a quid, pick it up, bob it down your CEX, and you'll get, you know, three to five quid trading quite comfortably. There we go. It's based on the popular Peppa Pig cartoon, which I'm sure we've all seen in our times. Um, I'm Peppa Pig. No, I'm not. Um... You can feed the ducks, dress up, and even fly a rocket to the moon. Which one would be your favourite? Uh, Daddy's, Daddy Pig's Bubbles. A trip to the bath, by the sound of it. Uh, George's Rocket, cleaning bicycles, picking apples, watering flowers, duck pond, making pictures, decorating cupcakes, birthday cake, bursting balloons, and dressing up games. All based on the popular Peppa Pe Pe Pig cartoon. There you go. But yeah, if the only, only reason you pick that up, pick it up for that reason. Or you're collecting them like I do. Uh, what have we got here? Um, ooh, gold. Everything's all, all over it. That's in the wrong... Oh, here we go. <laughs> yep, everything's in the wrong order. Okay. S slight, slight error with the uh, the, um, the filing system. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, PES 2009. Now, why is that one there? 
Um, and not, not, not the other one before it. Well, I'll tell you why. Because it says PES on the side. So, as we said, this is what we're going on our filing system. And this goes slightly ahead of everything else. Uh, just give me one second, because I've worked out what's wrong here. Oh dear mate, right, hang on, there we go. That's better, right, PS 2009. Uh, yeah, there's a football on the front of that. It's Messi, isn't it? Lionel Messi. Or Lionel Messi. Uh, it's got the old manual with it, which has been to um, game at some point, by the looks of it. What have we got in here? Um, yeah, safety manual as well, tucked inside. Oh, what have they done? They tucked that inside the front of the manual manual. And there's the... I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'll just gloss over this very quickly. If you've not played... Uh, FIFA or Pro Evolution or Madden or Tiger Woods on the Wii it is worth having it a go if you're a bit fed up with the way those games are very sort of uniform in the same after the same year after year these are slightly different and they, they are they are quite playable they are quite enjoyable it's just worth it to give it a go um, and there's the follow up PS 2010 which also has Lionel Messi on the front of it and that's Fernando Torres I believe from his time at Liverpool very successful time he had at Liverpool as well before he went to Chelsea and then was crap. There we go. But these games are absolutely dirt cheap to pick up. Um, they are not going to. Uh, I'm readily available as well, so worth a go. If you've know, not played those before, give them a go on the Wii. Uh, what have we got here? Um, Pet Sports Dog Playground. Yes, I know. Um, there's some very happy looking dogs on there. I don't know how they operate the Wii controls, though. I, I don't know how they get on with that. <gasps> My God, there's no manual. Hang on. Um, I should say, I should actually say, uh, Setsu Mei Shoga Adimasan, which I believe, I should say it again, Setsu Mei Shoga Adimasan, which uh, is Japanese for no manual. Or when I typed it into Google Translate, James, it came back and said there is no settlement. Which I'm guessing is probably saying it's not complete or there's no manual with it. One of the two, anyway. Anyway, I gave it a go. <laughs> I can almost feel you cringing from Japan now just listening to that. Uh, if you don't know, um, the guy James, uh, channel named Masabi, uh, big Wii collection himself, and has, has passed me on this Japanese phrase, which I've, I had, and then all his comments got deleted from my videos for some reason. Now he's giving it to me again, so I've had a go at it. Um, and I'm, I'm sure he's turning off in disgust anyway make your puppy a champion i like dogs um i don't like this game i must be honest with you dogs don't like it either they really don't like it very much um well pitfall the big adventure now whether this is in any way shape or form i know it's got the activision name on the front it's also got fun for all on it well which is not a good sign I was wondering whether this is tied in with the original games that came out on the Atari 2600, but it came out through time with the uh, Mayan Adventure, which I've got on the Mega Drive, or whether they're just simply using the Pitfall name to get some money. I don't know. I can't remember, because I don't think I've played this either. Uh, I've got a couple of safety manuals in this one, which is good, because I'm, I'm always uh, on the lookout for safety manuals. Uh, and it includes the original Pitfall and Pitfall 2, as it says in the back there. I'm just reading it off the back. Like I said, I'm, I can't remember playing this one. Um, so I can't really comment. Uh, Battle Scorpions, Piranhas, Natives. It's a bit vague, isn't it? Uh, and tons of other fierce enemies in the Peruvian jungle. Use your Wii Remote and a nice, as an ice pick. Raft Paddle, Slingshot, Torch, or even a stick of TNT. Sounds quite exciting, doesn't it? Uh, swing on vines, punch enemies, escape quicksand, swim at raging rivers, and much, much more. 60 levels of jungle madness for the entire family. It sounds all right, doesn't it? You, would go, you could look at that and go, well, oh, that doesn't sound too bad, does it? I don't know. Um, yeah, Pitfall. The big, if you've played it, let me know. Don't you think you see it all that? Here's one that you do not see very often at all. I had to, where did I get this from? Did I get it off eBay? Or was it Amazon? No, I'm thinking of another game. No, I've got, I've got this off Amazon. Um... And I, I just heard the title of the game, I thought, I've got to own that game, regardless. And then you don't see it very often in the shops at all. I don't think, well, it's been it's been a while since I bought this, so I don't think this is a particularly expensive game to pick up, but it's very hard to track down. Uh, and this is Pirates vs. Ninjas Dodgeball. Dodgeball. 
from uh, South Peak Games. Uh, I bought this, I think it was brand new. So it's come in uh, immaculately good condition. And it is basically pirates and ninjas playing dodgeball. There are some other teams in there as well. It's not just pirates and ninjas. Um, as it say on there, robots, zombies, aliens, monsters, and mushroom men. Now, of course, for those of you who may sort of remember episode M, there's a game called Mushroom Men, where the characters from that are in here. Uh, it's all coming back to me now, actually. Um, yeah, and it's it's ridiculously stupid. <laughs> How could you not want a game? Want a game called Pirates versus Ninjas, and they're playing dodgeball. You know, not chess. You know, not croquet. Dodgeball. Wow. Who, who came up with that idea? Got an idea, guys. Right. Um, next up, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. Which everyone seems to slag off and hate, but I know there are quite a few people who don't think it's that bad a game. Um... Now there are two parts, one part's cab being game for the Wii, there are actually two for the PlayStation 2. There's one which is the Legend of Jack Sparrow and there's this one. And um But I, I must be honest with you, um this was one of the, I think the very first games that came out for the Wii. I think it was one of those launch title, but it was an early Wii game. And I just remember it being everybody sort of not liking it at all. I must be honest with you, I didn't after the first film I sort of switched off. Uh, I found the films, you know, basically the law of diminishing returns each time. So I must be honest with you, I, I haven't put much into that at all. Um, this might be the time to start doing it now. Um, and the final game with the word pirates on the front. Now I have another one called pirates, but that's in another section. You have to wait and see for that one. Uh, we have, and <laughs> this is pirates, the hunt for Blackbeard's booty from our friends once again at Fun for All or Activision. So as you can see, that style there looks incredibly like Pitfall, doesn't it? Is it the same game or not? I don't know. Um, we have Setsu Meishoga Arimasan. Again, that sounds terribly phonetic, doesn't it? There's no real attempt there to add any accent to it whatsoever. Um, there's no manual with that one as well. And, um, yeah, battle pirate ships. Uh, sea serpents and more as you hunt for the booty. Gyar. Oh, <laughs> it even says that on the back here. Arr, row faster, matey. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. Five minutes of fun for all the family. Now, we've got a horse game, have we? Yes, we love horse games here in the gaming pantry. And there's another one. And this one's actually... Um, this one's about three or four different versions of this. And that, that, I know that because it says someone on the disc. It's called Different Things in Different Regions. In in the UK, it's called Pippa Funnels Ranch Rescue. And I'm glad they got that the right way around and didn't translate it. It's Pippa Ranch's Funnel Rescue. That could be really interesting. Um, this is from our great friends at Ubisoft who really had no idea what they were doing when it came to games. Uh, as you can see, on the disc there's a number of sort of things with horses with a Z on the end of it. Um, it's not great, right, I must be honest with you, but depending on which region it was, they sort of tacked on a famous equestrian or horse person. So... Um, in another region, this is Alexandra Ledermans, um, and I can't read that, but I think it's in French. might be German. And there's another one as well there, which I can't even read either. God, it's terrible. Look at that. See what I mean about sort of not being able to see it properly? It's sort of engraved on there, but uh, if I could read it, I would do so, because I know you like me sort of reading these things out of it. The best-selling horse game, not my words, the words at the back of the box, is now on Wii. That's what you've been waiting for. The best horse game ever. Uh, play as Lily in her most exciting horse adventure. <laughs> Raise and nurture your horses and from foals and train them to win competitions and ride them out freely in the open countryside, meeting new people throughout your adventure. Um, six in one, which we always know there. That's just six languages in one. Gives you an idea of just how bad this game is. Build a strong relationship with your horse. Yeah. Not quite sure what she's doing the runs there, but we'll move on from that one, shall we? Um, Planet 51, the game, from Sega. Do you remember the film? I believe uh, The Rock was one of the vocal talents in this game. Barely remember the film, let alone anything else. Um, it feels quite light, but there is a manual in it. 
don't remember playing this one at all either. Uh, join the Space Race. Very few people remember it's a film. Um, I don't even remember which... Uh, did it say which film studio it's from? No, it doesn't. No. I can't even tell you what film studio. I don't think it was a major film studio. So it's not Disney or DreamWorks or anything like that. Possibly not Warner Brothers. Possibly Fox. I don't know. No idea. Another game with the word planet in the title. And this is Planet Rescue Wildlife Vet. Now these are quite, quite interesting games. I quite like the, the aspect of this where I can actually sort of pretend to be a vet and um, save animals' lives by operating on them. I don't fancy the animals' chances much, to be honest with you. Um, it's got the manual and the disc. There's a couple of these games. There's one, I think, uh, called My um, Vet Practice or something like that, which is about a 10 to 15 quid game. I've seen it a couple of times, but I'm not paying that much just for it yet. But there's quite a few of these on here. Um, this one is Travel the World Saving Endangered Species. The panda on the back there is a tiger. Is that an elephant? Uh, yeah, there's an elephant. And there's a young vet there, obviously qualified because she's got a stethoscope around her neck. Um, join a prestigious NGO veterinary clinic and save a wide range of endangered species. Travel the world treating sick animals using your Wii remote. Well, there we go. I mean, that's you know, you, you, you know you are saved when you turn up with, don't worry, I'll save the elephant. I've got my Wii remote with me. Uh, it's like the universe being saved by Doctor Who, whose who's, you know, main weapon is a screwdriver. You know, you press the button asking for Batman, and, and you get the man with the screwdriver, or the, or the woman with the screwdriver. You're going to save the world with a screwdriver? I don't know. You're going to save this elephant with a Wii remote? Possibly. Anyway, um, I'm sure real life vetting is far, far more um, you know involved than this is. I know it is. I'm just being silly. Vets do tremendously difficult jobs. I know I've had a, a couple of um, dogs in the past, so I know how difficult that job is to do. Um, more horses and games and things, and Pony Friends 2, which must imply there was a Pony Friends 1. I did actually, um, <laughs> interesting story about this game, took me a couple of goes to get this one. The first time I saw a copy of this game was in a, copy, uh, a local cash converters, and when the guy took the disc out of the back of the... Uh, about the um, drawers behind the counter he said i can't really sell you this one he said he said because it looks like the pony friends have been kicking this around the stables and i'm not joking um there were that many deep grooves in it it was it was as if somebody had sort of basically just sort of got a you know some sort of sharp instrument and just gone <laughs> across the back of the disc it was it was terrible but yes i, I did quite like that analogy the, the, them sort of kicking it around the stables um comes complete with manual Um, become your be best friends with your perfect pony. Uh, race, compete on pony trick challenges. Go on trail rides with your friends. Groom and take good care of your pony to keep it clean and happy. It's very much as look of a horse exploration game, that one. Although it does, there's some not sort of competition element with it as well. There we go. So more horsing games. So we've seen My Horse and Me. We've seen Mary King's Riding School. We've seen the Pony Friends. We've seen Pippa Funnels. Or Pippa's Funnel. Um, are there many more to come? I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, this one looks real quality. Uh, from South Peak Games again, who um, did the uh, Pirates vs. Ninjas dodge, dodgeball game. So who am I to doubt this isn't a quality title? Pool Party, with three of the most bored-looking people you will ever see at a party. As if they've also been, you know, basically sort of, you know, these are the uncool people who've been pushing the corner to play pool. And having their own pool party. Oh man. And again, this has got one, two, three. It's got six different languages on the back of it again, so it's going to be utterly awful. The fact that it takes up so much writing tapes at the back of the box, they give you very, very little um, in terms of the, the pool sort of aspect of it. I mean, there are snooker games and, and pool games, and you thought like that, they should, they should be really good on the Wii. Um, I don't know, I can't tell you, I've not played that one, but I don't think its reputation is very good. You might sit there thinking, you don't play, you know, you, you keep saying, you know, every day and again, so I haven't played anything. If you've got that many number of games behind you, it's very difficult to play them all. Um, I'm hoping to change that this year. But yeah, I, I, I do end up, you know, play some of these when I first get them, or sometimes if I really don't like look at them like that one, and especially this one, which I'm about to show you now, I just tend to put them on the shelves and leave them. 
Um, this one is Wii Balance Board Compatible. Thank God for that. It's from our wonderful friends at 505 Games. Um, and this is... <laughs> Princess on Ice. Oh, I tell you something. The letter P is a cracker this week, isn't it? It's a cracker this episode. Oh, it's people back heads banging off their desks and I can almost hear cars being swerved into central reservations at the thought of these games coming out. Um, yeah. Again, so little you can see on the back of this tells you anything about the game at all. Otherwise, and there's four unique characters to use. You can perform real skating moves in full 3D, dress your skater with thousands of different outfit combinations, and 14 different arenas to wow the crowd. Um, and it feeds the Diva Girls. I think they were in that Diva Ballerina game I've got, or a, a Ballerina game I've got somewhere else from previous episodes. Anyway, yeah. I don't know, they look like they're having fun, don't they? Is that more fun that you'd like to have? Are you like to have as much fun as they are playing that game? I don't know. Uh, let's move on to something far, far more manly. <coughs> yeah, manly. Um, uh, this game includes the original 1992 version, 1992 version of Prince of Persia, and this is Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands. Now, these games, I've well, played on the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox when they came out, blew me away in terms of the quality of graphics. Absolutely fantastic. Are these any good or not? Um, well, they... they you know, they look pretty good on the Wii. Um, and they don't play too badly, actually, to be honest with you. They, they are quite good games. I actually prefer this sort of game to the original um, Prince of Persia. I didn't really like that one. But, yeah, I mean, they are they are pretty impressive-looking games for the Wii. Um, a bit confusing in places. I'm not quite sure. I think... I suppose we have, we've not seen any more Prince of Persia games in the last, sort of, ten years or so. There's another one in the series, uh, Rival Swords. Now I'm trying to think. I'm just casting my eye across to my Prince of Persia's um, games on the PlayStation Two. But I, uh, Prince of Persia: Warriors Within, Prince of Wor Prince of Persia, Prince of Persia: The Two Thrones, and Prince of Persia: The Sound Times are three different games. So these are sort of slightly different um, to those ones. But yeah, I mean, graphically, again, you look at the back of it, fight like you've never fought before. Wow, that sounds. Uh, that sounds ominous. There's a tiger and a bull and all sorts of things in the back of that as well. Again, can't remember much about it. Must be honest with you. Uh, more Pro Evolution. For you, this is Pro Evolution 2008. One of the first games I bought for the week. Because it was 25 pence for our good friends at CEX. I used to do 25 pence games. I used to do 10 pence games at one point. They do 5p as well. And look, they little instructions on the back with how to use the, the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. So, you know, dribbling is, is sort of press button A, passing is press button B, scoring and tackling, scoring using the nunchuck and tackling using the, the A button as well when you haven't got the ball. I couldn't get much more simpler than that. It's, honestly, it's surprisingly playable. You could do a lot worse for 50p. What can you get for 50p nowadays? Lionel Messi in PS 2011. There we go. Again. We've all seen a Pro Evolution game before. I'm not going to get too involved in that. Now, I think there is a... We've also got PS 2012. which That's got Ronaldo on the front this time. Now, um, since then, uh, I think there is a 13. Setsume Shogua Arimasan. I may not do this going forward. I don't think it's very good. Um, but yeah, I think there is a 13, which I don't have. Not a manual for 12. I'm sure, I'd, I'm sure I had two or three copies of that. I can't remember. This is also one of the first games I bought as well, which is uh, it's a bit of a, a bit of a dirty copy, actually. I'm give this one a, a bit of a clean over. Again, not a hard game to pack up. And it's, it's not the best condition. It's got a rip down the side. See the plastic sticking up there. It's a bit dirty at the top. But it is the late Professor Hines Wolf's Gravity Game. Which is basically just a series of mini games, which a lot of people were very, very disappointed with. Um, I'm not quite sure whether you're expecting, you know, some sort of intellectual masterclass on this one. I don't know. Of course, for those older people, you know, my generation, Professor Heinz Wolf was uh, the host of the Great Egg Race and was basically very much the go to scientific expert for us back in the late 70s and early 80s. Uh, so I was actually thrilled for that in the actual game. Um, on this but yes it's like a puzzle game it's very very simple stuff pass it on quite nicely it's not a cheap game to pick up either you're looking at less than a quid to pick that up dead easy 
Um, oh yeah, games that should never have been made. Part six hundred and twelve, Project Runway. Now I, I played America's Top Model. There is a video of that me playing America's Top Model on my channel. This is from those misguided people at <laughs> Atari, and also Miramax as well. That's an interesting name, isn't it? From the past, there. It's all complete with manual with people I don't recognise on it. Uh, dream it, make it, work it. Lovely. Uh, you are the stylist. You are the model. Starring the number one fashion show featuring Project Runway celebrities, judges and contestants, of which I can name neither or any of. Uh, the official video game of Project, Project Runway. Well, that's nice to know, isn't it? Uh, no one decided to make a knock-off version of it. Why is that? Um, rock the runway with moves and poses that show off your designs and blow the judges away. Use the Wii Remote Nunchuck and Balance Board to... Um, test your supermodel skills. So this is actually more involved than America's top model. Um, America's next top model, because that basically was just sort of like a series of button presses on the Wii remote. This one actually sounds a little bit more involved. Am I bothered it sounds a little bit more involved? Jesus, no. Punch Out. There we go. A quality game. Probably the best game I've shown you so far in this, <laughs> in this section. Sadly, it's without the book. Um, but I think again it's not a cheap game to pick up this one probably somewhere 6 to 10 usually 6 to 12 possibly I picked up it when it was at 6 that's the lowest I've ever seen it I picked up then even though it didn't have a manual um, I've had a quick glow at, go at it um, it's it's a little tricky to get used to but I'll tell you something it is good it is good it's worth doing you can use a balance board on it uh, and now I've got those gloves I had for Christmas um, hopefully um, they may be you know, inspire me to use that as well, maybe. Be interesting, wouldn't it? I'll have to try and work that out. There are some puzzle games here for you from the creators of Puzzle Quest. Mm, puzzle Quest, eh? Yes. Um it says here it's more than just a quest, it's an entire kingdom of addictive and puzzling role playing adventure. Uh, that's the tagline from GameSpot UK. That's Puzzle Kingdoms. From Zushi Games. I do like uh, my puzzling game, so this one, uh, very medieval. I have to talk in a funny language and drink mead while I am playing it. Although there are six different languages on the back. Um, amass armies, fortify castles, and conquer enemy kingdoms with addictive match three play gameplay and a captivating fantasy storyline. Puzzle Kingdom, the quest continues. So, um, yeah, it's a puzzle game with a bit of a twist. Focus, damn it, focus. Anyway. Oh, there we go. I haven't seen that one very often. Um, you don't see that. You don't see this one either, um, which is Puzzle Quest. And it looks a, looks a great cover. Look at that cover. I think, wow, that's fantastic, though, isn't it? Um, from D3, Challenge of the Warlords. It's got the manual. And these are the sort of games I, I you know, do quite enjoy. And again, it's, it's got a very sort of... Uh, defeat your opponents by matching gems and casting spells. Embark on 150 challenging quests on your journey in Etheria, I think that is. And join forces with a number of companions on your journey. Lovely. And there we go. Two to go, one more puzzle game. Um, and this is the Puzzler Collection, which... Uh, Mrs. Bear's mother-in-law has on her DS, which I've played on quite a bit when I've been uh, staying down there, because I do like a, a bit of a word search or a, a crossword and things like that. So you've got 2,000 puzzles featuring fit word, crossword, Sudoku and word search on the Wii. There we go. What more do you want me to say? So that's P. Now, I'm not sure how many games there are, beginning with Q on the Wii. Um, there's one, because I've got it. It's the only one I've got beginning with Q. In fact, I would probably say that it's the only letter in the alphabet uh, where I've got just a solitary game for it. Because I just think the remaining letters, even U, V, W, X, Y, Z, um, I think I've certainly got at least one game. More than one game. This is the only one where I've got one game for it. And this is Quiz Party. Uh, which features over 2,000 questions for all the family. We're your favourite quiz master, the great Roy Walker, former host of Catchphrase. So, 
Yes, there we go. It is. It's a quiz game. It's what it is. Times up, blind test, multiple choice, odd one out, brainstorm. It's it's quiz shows with costumes and little things like that. It's it's what it is. You know, if you like that sort of thing, you got people. You know, you'll play it. You know, it's it's fun for all the family. This is the ideal thing that we can't do at the moment and have massive amounts of people gathering together to play quiz games on the week. We can't do that. We can try, but it wouldn't. You know, we just can't do it. Um, and that is it. That's P and Q. And yeah, I think you'll probably agree that was a real mixed bag. There was some strange stuff in there, and smack bang right in the middle, um, punch out. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Um, next up will be R and S. Mm. Now, R surprisingly is relatively small, but S is relatively big, so it'll be quite a long episode. The reason I'm doing it that way is because there isn't enough to give R an episode on its own. It'll be quite short. Then. <laughs> There were too many R games to get into here, otherwise it'd be quite long. And with R and S, it's likely to be a long video, so we'll go with it from that one anyway. But I hope you've enjoyed that. That's another two letters knocked off the alphabet. Thank you very much indeed for watching. If you have enjoyed that and you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and tick that bell for further notifications. Don't forget to share and thumb the video and do what you need to do with it um, if you really enjoyed it and say, hey, look, here's this crazy guy who collects Wii games. That's what nothing else better to do with his life than collect Wii games. But yes, if you have enjoyed that, don't forget to uh, please show your appreciation for it. It would be great to hear from you. Uh, in the meantime, we'll be back again very, very soon with another episode. Another couple of letters in the alphabet. But until then, this is the Gaming Pantry. This is the Retro Bear. And this is me saying toodaloo for now. Take care.